Very early in my pregnancy, I had a dream. I met a beautiful, smiling little girl with dark, curly hair and large eyes. And I said, who do you belong to? <laughs> and she smiled at me, and I realized she was mine. Several week weeks later, um, my husband Adam and I found out that we were going to have a baby girl. So I had an uneventful pregnancy, a little nausea and heartburn and an aching back. Um, but I was very healthy. I did have a huge belly. Um, I knew she would be a large, healthy baby. Like most moms-to-be, I was anxious about childbirth, um, but excited to meet Lucy and Claire Smith. So just over four and a half years ago, Adam and I went to St. Joseph's Hospital to have this baby girl. There was snow on the ground from the blizzard that had arrived the week before on my original due date. Um, before we left for the hospital, we had a lovely dinner at home with my mom, Jennifer. Um, we took some silly and sweet pictures in the baby's room. We hugged my mom goodbye, and she joined us the next morning once labor had progressed. I honestly don't remember much after checking into the hospital. I do remember Adam lugging in my bags <laughs> full of baby clothes and everything I thought I might need, like slippers, PJs, lip balm, music, books. I think there were several books for some reason. <laughs> um, but after that, I can only remember things I said the next morning, such as, I feel a lot of pressure. Um, and I feel like I'm going to be sick. As you've already heard from Dr. Gottesfeld, the morning of February 10th, 2012, was the beginning of an exceptional story. A few days of several surgeries, blood transfusions, and grim moments. After those, I woke up. The unrelenting efforts of the medical staff, the availability, of nearly 300 units of blood and blood products, and the unwavering love, support, and prayers of family, friends, and strangers all contributed to a positive outcome for me and my daughter. We survived. I would not have survived without the blood and blood products on hand at St. Joe's and Bodfi's Blood Center. When recovering from the physical and emotional wounds of this traumatic event, I did become very sad and I felt wronged in a way. I wanted that joyful experience of holding your newborn child and going home a day or two later. And I asked Adam, why did everything go so wrong? And he, of course, thoughtfully said, <laughs> A lot of things went right. <laughs> um, so I'm grateful for the medical team and hospital staff who saved me, but also who showed so much love and care for my family. And I am thankful for my husband, our parents, family and friends, for the healing they fostered and continue to provide through love, food, I'm looking at my mother-in-law, food, <laughs> kind words, and hugs. But um, this morning is really dedicated to blood donors, those who are here today, and those who give and never expect to ever meet the people who receive their blood. During my last few days in the hospital, um, it really started to sink in for me that I received a lot of blood. A lot <laughs> from hundreds of individuals. At first, I felt a little strange. Um, you know, will I be different? Um, my hair did feel a little thicker, which was nice. Um, and I did feel this maybe pressure to be a better version of me. You know, a miracle had occurred, and what a special gift to receive from so many strangers. But I soon realized the real gift or miracle is that I just get to be me. Imperfect me, but a friend, a daughter, a sister, a niece, a cousin, an aunt, a wife, 
and the mother of a smart, beautiful girl with dark, curly hair. And it is an honor to have this opportunity to meet you all, and thank you. Thank you so much for donating your time and yourselves, your blood, to save lives, including mine. So thank you very much. Not a dry eye. Um, I now have the pleasure of asking each of Cassidy's donors to come to the stage one at a time. Paul Chamberlain. Ray Clapper. Scott Corson. <laughs> Deb Field. Iris Fleming. Sharon Foster. <laughs> Laura Frank. Corey Fryer. <laughs> Irma Garcia. Dan Greenmeyer. <laughs> Tanya Harvey. Heather Hewitt.
Even better. <laughs> James Jacobson. Denise Juif Palmer Lowe. <laughs> Sean Kinney. Terry Lally. <laughs> Vicki Martin. Alan Matsuo. <laughs> Mark Maxwell. Bill McNeil. Richard Meyer. Corrine Michaels. Chris Mahalik. Juliana Naples. Edgar Neal. Ed Haynes. Tony Parker.
Mary Patsy Go. Paul Tokheim. <laughs> Deb Venrick. Connor Walsh. Patrick Youngs. I want to take a minute to recognize the entire group once more. Thank you very much.